Hey everyone, welcome back to CyberV. This is the channel where I share what I learn in cybersecurity as I go. And today we're jumping back into the SOC analyst learning path inside the web attack course and starting with the second challenge, investigate web attack. So as it's loading, I thought I'd share a little bit. I know that the previous challenge that we just did used Wireshark and that Let's Defend didn't teach us how to do that um, within the SOC Analyst Learning Path up till now. And the only reason why I know how to use Wireshark is because the uh, diploma program that I went through taught us how to do it. And we had to actually write some technical reports based off of what we found in PCAP files that we analyze through our shark. So, um, you know, it's one of those industry tools that we need to learn how to use. So I definitely encourage you to download it. I think it's open source and just play around with it. Okay, so here are the next set of questions for the next challenge. So which automated scan tool did the attacker use for web reconnaissance? After web recon activity, which technique did attacker use for industry listing discovery? That's such a funny term, industry listing discovery. Okay, what is the third attack type after industry listing discovery? <laughs> what is the third attack successful? What is the name of the fourth attack? Okay, well, from there, this is such a major hint that yes, it was successful because there was a fourth attack. Okay, what is the name of the fourth attack? What is the first payload of the fourth attack? And is there any persistency clue for the victim machine in the log file? If yes, what is the related payload? Okay, so there's a lot happening in this one. Oh, perfect, challenge file, access log. Perfect, let's expand this. Get back in there, okay. So I scrolled through this already. It's a huge file, as you can see on the upper right hand side. And when I'm scrolling on my mouse, it's not even making a dent in that huge, huge column. So um, let me just kind of walk you through where my eyes go. OK, I'm looking at the left hand side. Um, I'm looking at IP address. This tends to be the same for this first 20. Looking at timestamp. So June 20th, 2021, 1235 a.m. I guess at 40 seconds, 40 seconds. So the first six requests or six entries, sorry, um, are within that second. And then three seconds later, there's four entries. One second later, there's mm, about like five. Oh, I can't see actually. Um, there's a lot actually. <laughs> there's like 10. There's about 10. So things are happening really quickly right now. So I can tell that, you know, within a second, like things are happening, like it's get, it's pretty active right now. It's logging a lot of access. So what is it doing? So get HTTP, it's the size, it's maybe how many seconds, and then it's using Mozilla 5.0 Macintosh. So they're using a Mac. Okay. And it's going to these pages where it's like icon, unknown, GIF, icons, layout, GIF, folder, GIF, text, GIF, blank, GIF. And then it suddenly changes to this BWAP. I don't know what the heck that was, so I had to look it up. BWAP. <laughs> and it is a buggy web application. So it is a free, open source, deliberately insecure web application. And what is it used for? It's to conduct successful penetration testing and ethical hacking projects for security enthusiasts, developers, and students to discover and prevent web uh, um, vulnerabilities. Okay, so let's pay special attention to that. Okay, so change to this. It's still using the same user agent here. And it's just looking at images at this point, like PNG files, right? Which is kind of weird. Like, why is it looking at that? And then you can see it logged out here, right? Line 26, logged out here logged back in and then you can see starting from here line 30 okay it changed from whatever it was using before the macintosh thing to this nikto 2.1.6 and then it, i have never seen this for invasions none test port check i don't know um and as you can see the ip also changed 
just one slight variation. It was the last digit was 0.1, now it's 0.2. And let's look up what Nikto is. It is an open source web server scanner that performs vulnerability scanning against web servers for multiple items, including dangerous files and programs. It checks for outdated versions of web server software. This is from like the CISA.gov website too, right? Pretty official. Okay. So, sorry, what was the question? <laughs> Which, okay, okay. So, so yes, Nikto is the answer. That's the automated scan tool that the attacker used for WebCon. So after web recon activity, which technique did the attacker use for directory listing discovery? It's so interesting how they worded it here. Like, what does that even mean? What's directory dis listing discovery? Where they discovered that there are directories? Hmm. Okay, so I am just scanning at this point and I'm just gonna go back to my notes here. Oh, which I may not have with me. Crap. I don't have my notes. Oh, okay. So at this point, I'm just scanning and skimming to see what they're looking at, like which page they're trying to access. And there's this R, I don't know what this is. Can we even look that up? Let's see. Oops, no, we can't because I forgot to copy. Okay, it's nothing. <laughs> I tried. Um, this is interesting. Starting at, it's probably start a little bit earlier, but this is where my eyes kind of clue in, into it, right? 18, line uh, 1828. So it's still using BWAP, and now it's going through all these weird, what I would call directory listings. So they're going through, just they're working through the alphabet right here. And what is that called, right? It's a type of brute force. And so you know that it gives you hints to what the answer is supposed to be. So I tried a whole bunch of stuff like directory traversal, um, just brute force in general, like nothing really matched up. It's like three different words. And I think the reason why, like this is also directory stuff. I think the reason why um, I spent so long figuring this out and I had to watch somebody else's walkthrough to get this is because I had never actually heard the term before. So it is actually directory brute force. And I guess this, that makes sense because it's going through every single directory trying to see if it could log in, um, but it's getting hit with 404s. So they're brute forcing the directory. That's how I rationalize it in my brain anyways. Okay. Okay. Next one. What is the third attack type after the directory listing discovery? So the, basically they're just trying to be sneaky and call the directory brute force, the directory listing discovery. So what is the third attack type? Okay. At this point, we're still scrolling. They're still doing the directory brute force. So, okay. Here it is. Ooh, that took a while. Here it is. Okay, starting with this one. So line 12,414. Okay. So we're looking at still the same IP, same day. It's been like, what, maybe like, I can't remember, like one minute since, since they started um, using the automated tool. Now we're getting post requests and not get requests, right? And you see we're, they're still using BWAP and it's login.php and they're getting 200s which is success, but when you successfully log in into a, your email, a browser, or whatever, what usually happens, it redirects you to the inside portal. So you're supposed to get a 300 something, 302 or whatever, 304, 303. And them staying at 202 means that they weren't actually successful. So let's take a look. And do you see that this also changed? It's now Linux, something rather, Gecko Firefox, and not the Nikto that it was 
scanning things for. Okay, so from here, we see a whole bunch of logins, right? It's going to 200, 200, 200. So this is the third attack until finally we get a 302. So it actually was successful or they were actually successful. Okay, so what does that tell us? Third attack type was brute force. Funny where there is two answers, that's basically exactly the same. And the third attack was successful, yes, because we saw the 302. And what is the name of the fourth attack? And what is the first payload of the fourth attack? Okay, so pretty much at this point, we're at the end of the file. It had like 12,557 lines of entry. So this was successful, successful, and now they're going back to get. Okay. Um, it doesn't get interesting until here, 12,553, where we see this, oops, just highlight the whole thing. We see all these like special character things, right? The um, percentage sign 22, 22, percentage time, percentage sign 20 system, percentage sign 27, who am I, percentage sign 27. It's probably like quotes or something, um, or space, perhaps. Um, so who am I? We learned from our previous web attack lesson that that is part of, do I remember? <laughs> that was part of something. So, um, let me tell you that that is actually the payload. Who am I? And this type of attack is the, what is it? Command injection. But actually, the answer is code injection. Because based off of their hint, it, the command, command the word was too long, so we had to change it. Okay, and so the last question that it is asking is, is there any persistency clue for the victim machine in the log file? If yes, what is the related payload? So because it asked you a two-part question, <laughs> you can kind of assume that, yes, there is. So what is the related payload? That's the actual uh, question here. So we're looking at these last whatever, six or five lines here. So this is the who am I? And then look what happened. They added a user, net user, net share, net user, hacker, 20 ADS123, exclamation mark, exclamation mark, uh, which I believe is their password. And they added it. So this this is the related payload typically attackers add an account to a system probably more of a privilege at admin account so that they can come back in here and do whatever they want to do whenever they want so let's compare so what was the automated scan to nikto directory brute force Brute force is the third attack. Yes, it was successful. Code injection was the name of the fourth attack. Who am I is the first payload for the fourth attack. First payload, okay. And then it's this percentage sign 27 net user hacker password add is the related payload. And so there we have it. This is how we do the two challenges in the detecting web attacks course. And I'm curious, what did you learn today? Comment below. Stay curious and see you in the next video.